Happy holidays everyone, it is your girl J Ross back with another video for the 12 J's of Christmas. Oh brother, this guy stinks! As I mentioned, I am your hostess J Ross and as you guys can tell by the title below, we are going to be doing a full face for those people who are like J, we are not all about doing those bright festive colors, we still want to look holiday-ish, but we don't want all that extra-ish. <laughs> we are going to be doing a full face from beginning to end of all new products because as you guys have clearly saw from yesterday's video, which if you have not checked it out yet, first of all, you must not be subscribed because you didn't have the bell notification on to alert you that I uploaded a video. Second of all, you must not watch me in general or even see me on Instagram posts that I did a haul. Third of all, you just a hater. That's, that's, that's what I came up with. As I mentioned earlier in this series, I wanted to incorporate things in my makeup collection that I already hauled and have never touched whatsoever. And then I'm touching new makeup as well that I just bought recently in the past couple months or so. So we're, all, we're, we're doing all that today. We're gonna start with the brows, which I very rarely do on camera i was about to say on campus for some reason don't ask but i wanted to try this p louise espresso oh so brautiful i like how it says warning this cosmetic cup is piping hot may your coffee be as strong as your brow game i have this eyebrow pencil in the shade espresso of course and then i have this eyebrow gel so it comes with the spoolie on one side of the brush and then it comes with the smaller precise pencil on the other side so let's do our brows shall we All right, so now that my brows are done, do not say anything if you see that they are not perfect. I think this is a pretty good brow for a person who never does her brows on camera, as well as a person who is not perfected at brows. Everybody always asks me, you know, people that I know are like, oh, I wish you do my makeup for me, all that stuff, and I'll joke around and be like, yeah, as long as you get your brows done by somebody else, I will gladly. And then I'm like, no, actually, I don't feel like doing other people's faces. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there because if I touch it, I'm pretty sure it's going to mess up. Eyeshadow. That's what we're going to do. So to keep it neutral, natural, everyday wearable, like I said, for those who want the glam, but not the color. We're going to use the Dominic Cosmetics or Dominique Cosmetics Multi-Use Eye and Face Palette. This is the Transition Palette. And for those of you who have not seen the palette, because you didn't see when I unboxed this. How dare you? This is what the palette looks like. Like I said, all mattes, all neutral, natural transition shades for everybody. And because this is what I do, no matter what, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. And for those of you who think this is simple, cute, that's all you need, you can leave it here. But because it's me, I like being extra, a little bit extra. All I'm gonna do is add this shade Smoky on the outer corner just to smoke it up a little bit. So see how that added a little bit of definition, but not that much where it's like over dramatic smoky eye. It's literally just the simplest thing. And I'm going to be using this sample because I forgot that I didn't have a full size new primer and I wanna keep this face full new item. So I'm gonna use this face primer long wear foundation grip. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I'm going to use this. So next onto the foundation, as I mentioned, these products are new to me or have been bought and hauled and I have never used them. So this is the NYX Professional Born to Glow Foundation. I know y'all in the comments like, Jay, I know, dang, well, yeah, yeah, your girl has hauled this so long ago that first of all, I can't take it back. Second of all, I don't even know if the shade matches for me. Third of all, I'm pretty sure it's been out for at least a year, two years, and I've had it at least a couple months after it came out. Actually, I think we talked about this in my declutter video, whenever that was, so yeah, the fact that I'm just not getting to this, 
Y'all see, it's sealed, sealed, y'all. I'm telling you, I've never used this foundation and I pray to God that this is my shade. I'm going to be using new brushes as well. I meant to use this Eco Tools eye set for my eyes, but I also only did like three shadows, so it really wasn't called for that. But I am gonna be using new face brushes and I'm gonna be trying out the Electric Love Collection from um, Real Techniques. Okay. So as far as how the brush blended this out, I really do like how the brush blended this out. I am used to my NYX Professional 03, which is the multi-purpose buffing brush, which is a little bit more denser. This is a little bit more like less compact, more flared out. So it's like more of a bouncy feel on my face, but it did the job when blending out this foundation and it did very well. And the foundation um, spreads very nicely. Of course, it is giving that glow, dewy, hydrating look because it is a born to glow foundation it's a like glowing foundation but we'll see how it plays well with the other products speaking of other products let's move on to the concealer so i have this revlon live boldly box from influencer i think they sent me the concealer i meant to showcase this in my haul video um but I forgot. This is the 5-in-1 concealer. They shint, shint me? Wow. So this one is the Universal Neutralizer. So that's why it's that shade. And then this is the shade 078 Truffle. Okay, so you twist off the cap and then you have a sponge applicator. Well, that is a spot on shade for my actual skin complexion. So, you know, bonus there for like those like no makeup makeup days i swear i hate these applicators so bad like sponge applicators in general i hate this is like more of a like a microfiber type brush that's what it feels like you know like those microfiber fleece blankets this is like a brush version of that should i try this shade no that is way too like you're not about to embarrass me in these streets we, we're not doing that i have the bright future gel serum this is the color corrector concealer from Sephora. You guys know I used to live by this, but they changed the formula as well as the shade range. So this is the newer version of that. Anyways, this is the shade number 15, Dose de Leche. All right, so also something new for me, and I'm trying to open this up really quickly because I don't know how long this formula lasts before it sets. I'm also going to be trying the Beauty Blender Sponge for the first time. Also, thanks to Influencer for sending me this because this is the Beauty Blender Skin Tint that came out, which I have not yet used, but I want to use a sponge because I know the sponge comes with this because I refuse to pay 20 bucks for a sponge. No complaints. Am I saying this is the best sponge in the world? No, I'm not. I still like my Real Technique sponge, but this did the job. And it is very soft. I'm going to be using this NYX Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Bronze. Okay, this pencil is not new to me, but this color is new to me, clearly, because the wrapper's still on it. So let me have this moment, okay? And to go back to the palette just to set that liner, even though I do like how it is right now, I'm gonna take the shade Smoky on the outer edge. I'm going to be using this Morphe 8D Deep Glam palette. This comes with blush, highlight, bronzer, contour, and I'm going to take this contour right here. Whoa, it is deep enough. It's Definitely deep enough. Whoa. Thank you, Morphe. A face palette that I can actually use. What? So let's try one of these bronzers. I'm gonna try the lighter bronzer. So the contour that I use is called So Epic. The bronzer that I use is called Supreme. And then the brightener powder, which, rude. The brightening powder, which is right here, is called Party Starter, and I'm going to lightly see what it does when I set my eyes with it. Wait, nope, it's not that light. Wait. Oh, wait, it's not that bad. Oh, that's really pretty. If you are somebody who likes to go way lighter when it comes to the setting powder, like the under eye setting powder, then you might not like this shade, but if you want the more natural, um, everyday use type, this is it. 
for my skin complexion at least once again my skin complexion all right so let's go ahead and set the face i have two powders from kiss new york professional these are the pro touch matte powder foundations i have it in the shade toffee and chestnut because I'm going very light with it, I feel like toffee should be okay as well. And to apply this, I'm going to be using the Electric Love 038 Peace Out Powder Brush. This brush is so unique to me because it's more fluffy, like literally fluffy. I'm used to like a little bit more like this. Like these are the ones like a little bit more denser. This is truly fluffy, but it's doing the job and I'm not mad. All right, let's move on to blush now. So I could easily probably just use the Morphe palette that I just used, but I want to try this Ofra Good To Go Mini Mix palette. This is for face, eyes, all that good stuff. And there are some blush shades in here that I would love to try, so. I'm going to use the shade either Clean Slate or Ready. I don't know. I never know how to read palettes. Like, I feel like they should be how they are, but you never know. So, let's try this shade. Okay, so Ready. Definitely came ready. So, once again, this was the Ofra Good To Go. First time trying Ofra, so there is that. Once again, could probably go back to the Morphe palette, but I'm not. I'm going to try out the Glam Light Pina Colada Highlighter from the Happy Hour Collection. I've already tried the Mimosa one, and I haven't tried this one yet, and just look how stunning that is. It's like a champagne. Still think it goes with this look? If not, I'll put something darker on top. Definitely probably a little bit too icy for this warm look, but I do like that shade. But let's go to the Morphe palette and use the highlighter called heart throb so i'm going to use this highlighter with this one right here this golden highlighter and i'm just going to put it on top and because i can you guys knew i was going to do it i don't even know why you thought i wasn't going to do it because it's me i'm not just going to do a straight matte look and not do my inner corner with a highlight or something or it has to be something that's going to pop so that's what i'm going to do now I'm literally taking this small thin brush using the highlighter that I just used from the Morphe palette called Heartthrob and it's literally going in my inner corner because baby girl has to. If you don't want to do this part, you really don't have to, but it's the holiday so bring a little shimmer to your look. Next up, I'm going to spray my face with the Revlon Color Stay Lock. Lightweight, non-sticky formula, dries quickly and feels comfortable on the skin. Blurs pores imperfection for a natural finish. Come on, Mist. That was nice. This is the Color Fetish Nudes in the shade 450 Desire. And this is the color. I don't think I need a liner with this. Do I need a liner? I don't. This is that perfect everyday shade. Do I want a liner? Of course, because it's me. Let me line it with the shade 460 Sensual. Let's see how these two mix. This is the darker chocolate one. And for my mascara, I'm going to be using the Maybelline X Marvel Colossal Mascara. I have never used the Colossal Mascara. I've only used the Falsies and probably another one, but it's never been the Colossal one. So I'm going to use this now. And this is in the Marvel collection, as I mentioned, which is the Captain Marvel symbol for those of you who do not know that symbol because you clearly don't watch any of my Marvel content. Like that difference. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the overall final and finished look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I am flabbergasted. What? I am like literally in love with my face today. I know you guys are probably like, Jay, we can't see half of it. And I can't either because the hair is all up off in my eyes. So yeah, I am seriously in love with this look. Everything I tried today, everything I tried, I am not mad at any of it. I'm not even lying to you guys. Yes, this may have been the wrong shade, but in terms of like my everyday when I don't feel like putting on it, Full makeup or anything just to cover up some of my dark spots this is the perfect shade you guys saw how it literally looked like my skin complexions even without blending it in so I can see myself using this on a day-to-day -day basis for me to be an oily girl 
but my skin completely goes dry in the colder wintry months don't ask it's just how my skin rolls this is a beautiful foundation and i'm mad it took me this long to try it but i am happy that the shade worked perfectly for me like i just i I, just, I mean shout out to me for just hitting it on the ball with everything from the brows which I never do on camera camp I was about to say campus again never do on camera like everything looks beautiful if you are around my skin complexion like I said this is the shade Coco in the Born to Glow foundation this is the 8D palette this works for us beauties of the darker complexion i could be wrong in saying this is the darkest or there could be one darker but i also could be wrong in saying there are four to five lighter ones as well but i think there are enough to cover a wide variety vast majority of the beauty community not saying it's going to fit everybody but for this one at least for me it looked beautiful it looked stunning i don't think you guys understand this i'm loving everything i touch i can definitely see me using this palette with the pat mcgrath palettes because there are more shimmers in there than there are mattes so i could definitely see this being a good complementary palette for those i don't think i can get more natural neutral on my eyes than this look three shades and the inner corner highlight that don't count um because you didn't need to do that if you didn't want to i'm yeah i'm i'm done Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here trying Thank you guys so, so much for watching another day of 12 Jays of Christmas. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you loved any of these products that I tried today. Will you be picking them up? All of that good stuff. Let me know. Do you guys think the shades match me? I, I, I'm literally floored right now. This is stunning. Seriously, thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I'm your girl, Jay Ross. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Come back for more content for the rest of the 12 days of Christmas. I know I'm talking fast, but I don't want my camera to cut off on me and be rude. As always, please stay safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. Enjoy your family time and your family festive parties. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Love you guys so much. Happy holidays.